Hey guys, welcome back to Ozark Overland Outfitters. Today, man, something a little different. This is my 1947 CJ2A. Picked up a few months ago, and um, to be honest with you, I really fell in love with it. Haven't did much to it. This was a good survivor of a Jeep. I've uh, been running trails with it here today. Probably got somewhere around 500 miles on since I've owned it. Uh, haven't made any videos in quite a while. I have to apologize for that. I've had a lot going on health-wise and also at the shop. And it just was one of those things that just I couldn't put it as a priority in my life. Had to had to take something out for a while. And that's the was the easiest thing to take out. So let me show you around. Previous owner named it Chester Copper Pot. That name stuck. Uh, it's going to continue to be called Chester Copper Pot. And um, it's quite the little beast. And it's been blasting some. I've been waiting on the troop carrier to get here. Uh, it gave me something to um, kind of devote my time to uh, beyond after hours, you might say. So Chester is a 1947 CJ2A. It is a rust-free, very straight example that to me has the perfect patina. So why take it off? Why paint it? Why make it pretty whenever it's as pretty as it possibly could be? Uh, I have um, done just a few things to it. I've got the um, Big Willie jeep parts seat covers for it they're really cool they've got the storage pouches in the back and also storage pouches here in the front i'll put a set of 750 16 power king extra tractions on there with one inch wheel spacers got the big willy half inch lift shackles factory rear springs a new set of front springs because the factory ones were pretty trashed. Done an 8274 I picked up used. Uh, this is a Brennan, Brennan's garage mount that we welded on. We also got the um, Brennan's garage disc brakes in the front and the big Willie. High clearance spring plates in the front. I've got them for the back, haven't got them put on yet. And we've also got the five to one gears in the transfer case. We haven't got the transfer case in yet. I picked it up from um, Jeff Petrowich up in Illinois. Super great guy. I'm anxious to get that in there one of these days. So just out here, the reason I had to hood up is it's vapor locked. So I guess that's a common problem. Uh, try to work a few things to get around that issue. So I'm just sitting here letting it cool off a bit before we can head back home. So been a while, but hopefully the videos start coming again. We moved into our new shop, which is a lot larger location. I'm going to try to get you a video of that here really soon. And as well as all the projects we got going on in the shop is pretty amazing. And the troop carrier lands the 15th of this month here just within a couple weeks uh and maryland we'll be picking it up first part of june so hopefully momentum raises quite a bit and we really get to going back on the videos but remember to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time